Welcome to the Pilgrim's Project. Hey people, it's the Pilgrim and we're going to have a go at building this command bunker. I've stuck with tech and metal just because it fits in better with the city environment, you know, looks really good. You can build it from whatever materials you want, you know, stone, something like that, just to keep the material cost down or, you know, what sort of whatever aesthetic you're going for. There's no mods involved, so it's fine for console, official, unofficial. Uh, the four corners are symmetrical, once you've built one they should be easy enough to build. This back left one here we're looking at now is slightly taller and it's got a glass wall in it and you can keep an eye on the ramp and the main arch facing. Uh, the central portion is pretty straightforward, just a circle build, some roofs and stuff. Um, the only thing is the roofs have to be built in a certain way, sort of right to left so they overlap each other, um, so it works properly. The production centre on the right hand side is half a circle at one end and then the rest of it is just built on pillars. Um, there's an indie forge in there tons of vaults, smithies and stuff like that, so there's tons of room for production in that side. And I left the dyno doors in as well, so you can sort of drive your farming dyno straight in there and drop everything off. I am going to continue building on this area, it's a really nice flat spot. Uh, I started building the foundations down for the wall and the behemoth gates to go in. So um, I'll just do some more videos, build some more little, little places that sort of fit in with this idea. It's going to be like real time strategy builds, that's the sort of... Um, concept behind these ones right i'll get the well you can see the general area we're just sort of between the two domes and there's a big raised bridge going across and we're at the far end of that the cards for this place are 50 58 so it should be easy enough to find right to start off with you need a metal fence foundation down and we need to get a metal pipe directly in the center just on the edge and that'll be like your main focus for where the circle's going to be built from, so it needs to be dead on. Keep everything else nice and straight. This first bit does need to be sort of as accurate as you can get it. And then the rest of the build will come together dead easy. So you've got two lots of metal foundations sticking out from each other like that there. Then here you want to press E just to flip that metal fence foundation. Then put another one at that angle. And then we're going to use Captain Fat Dog's idea. Put a couple of fences down, wooden fences get rid of these two metal foundations out of the way you can also use wooden foundations just to keep the cost down on materials as well if you want now if you stand there and use a scope you can get this metal water pipe directly in the center and you can use it to line up your metal fence foundation that's going to go down like I say this Captain Fat Dog's idea uh, he says I don't have to credit him for the circle builds anymore but it was his idea originally um, if, I'll put a link to his channel, you can learn a lot from him, you know, if you're really interested in building an arc, he's got some awesome tutorials. So you get that one nice and lined up, that's got to be right on the edge, if you saw how I did it, and that'll give you that one to go dead in the centre there, and this is sort of the base for the circle. Once you've got these down, you can use um, pillars, and it'll just get all the ceilings that go on top of them angled really nice, and you get like a really proper circular build you use um thatch walls here put your back against it i'm going to use the same idea again just to get that nice and level and you can see how it's just on the edge you want it to just come round get that in i said it's like essential you get this bit spot on and then all your walls and ceilings and everything will come together really nice at the end just repeat that process again and you're going to get one on this side should be nice and easy to level up there you go and with these five metal foundations down now you can just build the rest of the circle from them that'll give you like the whole circumference of it these can be a bit fiddly but get these down so they're all in the center so you've got like two metal foundation uh, fence foundations down and then you can just continue that right the way around Make sure you do it like every single one. Just continue around till you've filled up the circle. There you go, that's the base of it. 
see how it looks from there everything is nice and even so it's worth taking your time and just getting this bit spot on and then like I said you easy easy mold them put another layer around right the way around so you've got two down I think I went for four on this and then did the pillar saw me where I was up to Yeah, I was just testing out how the pillars work here and where the, the ceilings are sort of meet because you want the ceilings to meet right on the edge of each other. So if you go around and put another two layers of metal fence foundations down, so you've got four running out from the centre right the way around, that'll give you a good base to play with. There you go. Now you want to find whatever sort of position you want your outer circles to be in um, I wanted to keep that symmetrical so you're looking for sort of a cross section of the circle so um, that's just, you have problems like that flicking, clicking into their own place so like from there if you run straight across that can be your, your next circle on the other side so stick a couple down so you know where you're up to and then exactly the same thing in the other direction but so it's nice and equal There we go. That's what you're looking for. So it looks like you've got a cross going, cutting through it all. Right now we can get on with the first part of this circle build. We'll get the outer ones done. Want a pillar right on the edge there and put a ceiling on it just so you sort of know where you're coming from and then it's three out and I just use that extra one there you can just see it clipping through the other metal foundation and it just gives you a good spot to clip the water pipe into using the same idea we did before but this time we only have to put um, three metal fence foundations down to build the circle not five and that should keep it all nice and lined up same again Just get it in the edge there. I was just seeing how close it was. My eyes aren't as good as they used to be. I can't bother wearing glasses while I'm playing all the time. I only need them for driving anyway, really. There you go. Just did that to make sure the ceilings were lining up nice. So there's your three down, and then from them three you can put the rest of them down you need. Just making sure that lined up nice. So you've got like, the circle there will end right on the edge of the main, the main circle. So it's like one, two, three from the pillar before you start your pipe. And then just run these round again. I'll just show how I built like one circle. Um, so like the next ones just follow the same step you know to reproduce it on each corner and the video isn't too long well, well I made it as short as I could yeah and you're just going two two metal foundations from the center for this one and get your pillars right the way around that down a bit so you can see sort of where the edge of the other circle met it. then just go to each four corners and just reproduce the same thing yeah so you're just reproducing that that step to build the circle on each corner and there's your main base for the whole build sorted now it's just a matter of getting a load of metal pillars round and you're gonna want like three layers of pillars in the main circle in the middle and two layers of pillars inside all the small ones uh, just so you've got something holding up the ceilings and you know um, basically so everything's got foundation support so you're just running around the outside of here so I'll just sort of go through this quick it's easy enough to follow if you've got any questions about the build or you want anything um, explaining you know if you get stuck anywhere just leave me a comment I've got a Discord channel up as well, so you can jump on there and ask any questions. That's cool. Uh, the rest of the build, I'll do it as a bit of a speed build. 
Uh, mainly it's just getting walls down in the right positions, um, some dyno gates and just making sure everything lines up really. But it's nothing that you're going to need like a step-by-step -step, uh, tutorial for, I don't think. And there we go, that's all laid out nice. That's, that'll give you, like I said, uh, foundation support for the rest of the build. Just the little circles need a few more pillars going in. Give you sort of an overall look of where you're up to. And now there's just a lot of ceilings and walls to place, so um, I'll just leave the, the video running and um, if I think anything really needs explaining I'll just pitch in again later instead of putting text up all over all over the screen. And I'll leave you to it guys, have fun building. Right, this section is going to be the main entrance where we're going to have the metal dyno doors at the front. So you just want the one ceiling going off in the main circle. Uh, them two metal ceilings are put in there, move them later. And then you want a wall underneath and then you can snap the metal ceilings just to the, the centre of that. So they're at that, you know, where you can see them there. Uh, snap a couple of tech fence foundations in and you can snap a couple of metal pillars to either side of them at the corners and just run them into the ground so they can support the ceilings that are in front of them and then just do the same thing on that ceiling as well and the tech foundations give something for the dyno gateways to snap to as well make sure you run them into the ground that bit on the left hand side, that extra pillar was just something I was playing with while I was trying to figure out how to sort of cover all the gaps. And take these two ceilings out and just run a couple of ceilings straight off the circle so they're at a bit of an angle. And then run another fence foundation from the side there. You can see this one, we're going to snap another fence foundation to it now at the top. And that's just another place for the dyno gateways to snap to. And then I'll just use these walls just so I had something to line everything up to. And we're just going to put a normal tech doorway in the middle there. There we go. And we can snap a dyno gate to that. And then one at an angle straight into the base. That'll snap in place as well. So I'll just do that on both sides. And then this one I just lined it up with the gap there from the wall to the gateway on the left hand side. 
and with the edge of that ceiling on the right hand side I just did that on both sides so you've got somewhere to sort of line up to against the wall and against the edge of that ceiling and just mirror that on the other side and it um, basically fills in that gap there so nothing can get through build these pillars up for high so they're just above the dino doors gates sorry and then you can wall this whole section in so you can sort of seal it off there's two lots of gateways there you've got to get through as well to get into the main base There we go, that's your main entrance built. With these sections here, I wanted to get some greenhouse windows in, just so you've got a bit of light and it seems a bit more open inside, you're not just living inside a big tin can. So what I did, I used some tech foundations, uh, fence foundations, on, right on the corners there. You see, if you press R, um, it sort of switches position of the item you're trying to place. So you've got to get them right on the corner then snap the greenhouse windows to the inside of the ceiling that's right there and then you can snap the metal fences to the outside of the tech foundation and basically you know greenhouse or glass is always like a real weak point in the build and this just gives it that extra bit of protection um, and it goes in with the sort of style of the build as well that command bunker style um, military style sort of theme just looks more protected you see like 90% of the walls have like a tiny bit where they sort of go over each other oh yeah when you place them walls down above the windows just press E and it'll bring them forward slightly so they're in line with the rest of it that way when you come to put the ceilings on um, all the ceilings are nice and in, uh, in line got no gaps And that same idea is just repeated for, for the windows around the whole build, so it should be cool there. Right, we're coming to get one of the first small circles built now. There's a couple of things I'll just explain. You want to get that doorway so it's on the inside 
of this small circle and then the walls above it that way your ceilings that are going around the small circle all line up and you're not sort of connecting it to the, the big circle get some floors in and then these all all line up fine anyway so I see I've already built that one um, I just thought I'd build one hole you know and let you see how it gets built and then you can just repeat that round the other sides So this section here is three walls high all the way around. Well, three walls high from the ceilings and then one wall goes like all the way around to hide the pillars. And then here you put hatch framing so you can get up and run ceilings all the way around. Couple of uh, walls there. And then what you want to do with this is stick a wall in on the left hand side at an angle like that and then your ceiling will clip through it and then work from that one all the way around so you're putting down a sloped wall and then a ceiling if you try to build the ceilings as a full circle when you get to the end um, sort of like where the circle would meet the actual ceiling won't clip when you put that wall down there press E so it's on the other side and that last ceiling will go in um, if you had no clip activity it would work but I didn't I just thought I'd do it properly so it can be built on uh, console and official servers then you want walls in there see how I put two in that was like one attached to the small circle and one attached to the bigger circle and get some metal walls in right the way around there just so you've got support for the ceiling. I have to stick another ceiling and extra wall in there to get this ceiling in. And then you're gonna run around the inside again. So they're attached to the metal walls you've just placed. And then round over the top of the sloped roofs. And then this is gonna be another full layer. So you've got like another extra room. I put them in as gun ports. I said on the, the little video I did, you know, just explaining the build. It was sort of a castle idea, you know, like when you've got the arrow ports in castles where you can fire your arrows and crossbows from. So with this build you could have like half your tribe, you know, running around between the windows and you've got clear fields of fire um, and crossfire that can protect every wall around the base if you're getting attacked. That was, that was my idea. This section here is just um, built like so you can get up onto the roof. You can use ceilings or hat, hatch frames there, it doesn't really matter. This is going to be another set of slopes, roofs, and just using exactly the same idea again. That little section sticking out from the front sort of gives you two uh, parts of the build. One is you can climb up through it, put hatch frames in it so you can get onto the roof, and also you needed something as a gap between the ceilings so you could cross them over. Uh, with thatch I think you can just run them into each other but with these like I said they won't overlap if you try and build a full circle out of them but, uh, that last wall I put down there press D again and it just flips it so that last ceiling will snap in nice get your hatch frame in there so you can climb up through it build this little tower need metal walls in there again just to hang your ceilings off for the roof you can play around with the design however you want you know make these little towers at the side bigger make them into landing pads for your flyers or whatever you want to do but there's one fully built and you're basically copying that on all four corners so except the last left hand side all I'll talk about that in a bit because I just wanted to put the extra glass wall in there and there we go just onto the ceilings and walls for the second floor of the main circle now
Right, we can get this production side sorted. Um, you can pick whichever circle you want for this. Just remove one ceiling from one of the um, corners. You can see there, it's, you can snap the metal fence foundation to the one inside and just run it out. And then from there, put some metal fence foundations um, at right angles to snap pillars to, you know, to form the foundation for the build. Vines got in the way a bit there, but you can sort of see what, what I'm doing. That section is just going to be um, ceilings running out, uh, so you can sort of get between the build if you're riding your dinos. Snap pillars on all the points. Like that. that one more layer just so I had a bit of a clear area to build the circle on the end and you're just repeating the same process you did with the smaller circles again just did that so you can line the metal pipe up properly Again, it's, it's just a small circle, so you just need the three metal fence foundations down at the beginning. Use the scope again to line it up. It's a good idea, that, from Fat Dog. I've been messing about um, trying to line them up by eye for ages. Um, I'd watched the video where he'd done it, I just never sort of got around to using it in a build before. But it works so well, and it keeps everything really like nice lined up. This is just going to be half of a circle. I was just doing that to see how big the circle could be and still, you know, look, look smooth. So you start coming two ceilings out and that uh, makes the, the ceilings line up nice on the corners. With there, I didn't really need a lot of structure, so I didn't need to build out the fence foundations too long like I did on the other ones. Um, you can just like do it like that and then just put like one fence foundation in every couple of pillars. That'll be enough support for the whole thing. Like that, and then that'll line up nice with uh, the other side. Yeah, just had to get rid of that ceiling there so I could get another set of pillars in. There you go, you can see how it sort of lines up now. get that wall back in that we demolished before and then just run walls right the way around the outside actually I've done that to the whole right the way around the whole outside of the base just so it hides all the pillars with this being the main production I wanted to get the indie forge in first uh, just just so it gave me an idea of how tall the building had to be and um, where the walls were going to be uh, you know the ceilings and walkways and stuff so it's just a good idea to get it like lined up in, in the right spot first. So I'll work around it. Then here you want to get a couple of metal fence foundations down. Um, say one out from the circle. And you can snap a couple of dino doors to there. So you can walk your ankies and uh, dodicarus and stuff straight inside. There we go. And then it's just another a uh, set of walls going around the outside of it. I did leave one section in for some glass uh, on the other end, but this bit I just sort of fully enclosed it.
Right, there's that section built. We'll move on to these two smaller circles we've got left now. This just repeat the process from before, it's exactly the same. After building that one, you probably remember pretty much how to build it. I'll just you know, skip the video back a bit or something. And then this section here, you want to build it up to just above the slope walls. And then we're going to build a little bit higher here, so we can put that glass wall in. So I have an observation post. Put that door in there so we can build the extra small tower linking off it. And it's the same again with the tech foundations. Just just like you just built on the production area. This roof section here is essentially the same as the other two, uh, sorry, the other three small circles. The only difference was where you've got that straight lot of um, ceilings going through there. I just put some walls in and some slope walls and just built half a circle around the top. So you've got like a, a small landing pad and a bit of a guard post. And then the tower um, runs just above that and there's a doorway so you can get out onto that roof and one inside as well. There we go, that's that corner built. And that is where you should be up to by now. Now we're going to start on the last floor for the main circle.
Right, now we're going to get started on the roof section for the main circle. There is kind of a specific way you've got to build it, just so you can get the wall sections in, but I'll show you now. So you run ceilings two wide right away around the outside, and then just put one sticking out from sort of each corner. You want two there, and that'll just give you a base to snap the hatch frame into. Then here you can't go curved you know, right away around to it. You need like a straight set of ceilings. So at the side there, just place those three down for now. And then finish these sections off with straight ceilings as well, so it clips into the others. That way you can have the hatch frame in and we can build like a little wall and get another level built. So on the hatch frame there, put in the walls. Then on this section here, you need to put another ceiling in. You see there, so it'll just snap to the same level. And then at both ends, use the straight ceiling that's in the middle there. Just put these walls in. So, same again. Put the ceilings in. I was sort of doing this, building it as I was going along, so... I was just making sure it all lined up properly there. Yep, so snap to that last ceiling you put in. And then see that one there on the right. You just want to stick a wall in there and a couple of sloped root, uh, sloped walls. And that'll be the start of the circle we're going to build. So same again on this side. And then it's the same idea as before. Just find that angle where it clips over nice like that. And just do that right the way around. That's the first part of the roof. I turn this section into the barracks, just like an extra small room, do whatever you want with it. I'm going to run door frames around to finish the circle off on this side so we've got something to build over but you can put a couple of pillars in, uh, just put like a fence foundation down and snap the pillars to either corner and it gives you enough space to get a snow alley. So you can use like the second floor on the circle as a bit of a landing pad. Like this bit here I was just sort of figuring out how to get the ceilings around and I needed to put walls in, you know, to hang them off all the way, all the way around this sort of semicircle. You see there it goes red, you just got to try and snap the door frames now going around to the closest ceiling, not the one that the slope walls are coming off. And then get rid of these two walls here, uh, sorry one wall, and then just snap that in finish it off there's the room built then you can run your ceilings all the way around now The next lot of ceilings need support, so just snap some more door frames in. And then round that inner circle there, that's where we're going to run the doorways. And um, we can hang the ceilings off the top of that then, so just build it like too high. And then we needed a section, um, like the other ones, you know, like a small tower coming off it. Just so we can split the circle up when it comes round. You can run ceilings around the hole inside of that. When you get to sections like this, you can really see why it pays off to get that circle, you know, spot on right from the beginning. You get to bits like this and nothing will line up. The walls won't clip for each other. There'll be doorways, you know, your supporting parts that just won't clip anywhere and just messes the whole thing up. So take your time. You practice it with some uh, wooden foundations or something first. All right, we've got round to that bit again. So you just need to just press E on the wall so it spins it and the ceiling will snap to it nicely. And I was just figuring out which way I was going to 
build the hatch frames and things there. Get them wazzy. Then you need your uh, doorways in again, just to hang the ceilings off. Same idea. Just build it, it's like repeating itself over and over, but just with some little tweaks. Like there, the door, the tech doorways are a bit too thick, so I had to use the metal walls just to snap to that inside ceiling. They were thin enough. And that's the last bit of ceiling in. And now it's just a matter of building this little tower. Yeah, I thought the towers looked pretty good. It sort of breaks the circle up a little bit, gives it like a bit of a futuristic look. Like I was saying uh, in, in the video, you know, where I just sort of showcased the build, it has got a proper art, like old school RTS look to it. Like old Command and Conquer or something. there we go you're done that is like well the main structure finished you've just got to stick all your production stuff in there now and um I, what i did i used tech windows and tech doors all throughout the build and i used a spray gun and painted them all in sky color and it gives you this like really metallic silver look to them all um the rest of the building i, I just painted in white and red and I used silver for most of the roof sections, the slope roof sections. And that was the only sort of paint scheme for it. I used white for all the ceilings as well. And then I just stuck a load of um, metal fences around, you know, around all the areas where you'd be walking. And that is the finished product. I did have a play around putting um, generators and stuff in all the towers and then having door frame uh, hatch frames hanging off them and put a load of guns on it you know like the uh, like a bit of a pvp base but um it's not really practical for something like that but it's a good pve base you know something interesting to live in and that's it all painted up and finished have put ramps in painted them white uh, put all the metal fences around the main areas I, I used some water pipes and went up and then used the cross-section water pipes off just so it like it had them um, aerials and things coming out of the little communication towers put some ramps in the center there so you can get your dynos over that little bit that's got the foundations under it and there's actually walkways going from the circle on the right and it takes you up to the second floor of the production area just see the wall there on the right now underneath the little floating uh, what's that it's like a little air balloon in it that's come out so you can send cargo to people and just there you can see where i put the pillars in i just stuck one fence foundation down in the middle and snapped the two pillars to either end of that Right, I think that covers about everything guys, uh, like I said before if you've got any uh, problems with it or you know you run into any difficulties just leave us a comment and I'll try and get back to you. If you get a chance go and check out the rest of the channel, there's tons of building stuff on there and a few tutorials as well now. Um, Atlas is out in four or five days, the new wildcard pirate massive multiplayer 40k people on one server, you know, big you know, really ambitious pro project for them and i'm definitely going to cover it i'm going to do some building on there i'm going to rent my own server so i can just sort of chill out and do my own thing and uh, yeah i'll be definitely bringing some videos out about that right thanks for watching guys and i'll catch you later